we uh, learned how to fly. Learning how to fly is just part of what goes on each Saturday at this tiny airstrip a few miles outside of Stead, Nevada. With their traveling hangars in tow, these members of the Reno Remote Control Club strap on a set of wings, fire up their pistons, and barrel roll off into the wild blue. What keeps bringing them out every week can best be described as... <laughs> it's a long story. <laughs> <laughs> a long story that, for each of these flyboys, has a different beginning. My wife decided to get me an airplane. My dad was into it. Back when I was a little kid, I just always liked model airplanes. I taught him how to fly, and then it's just been just going on for uh, uh, 30 years for me, and close to almost 30 years for him. Yeah, close. <laughs> and whatever the reason that brought them into it, members of the club just can't seem to get enough. But the real thrill of it all it comes from the time you start building it until the time you crash it. Crash and burn. Go ahead, <laughs> crash and burn, brother. <laughs> I've got the record for the club, <laughs> wiping out the most airplanes. A wipeout that may sound devastating, but for these guys, it just means it's time to get back to the cutting board. We build these things from, some, sometimes from the ground up. From raw wood to a, to a working plane. Or at least sometimes working. Squirrely? Squirrely. Is it squirrely? Yeah, look how squirrely. Oh, yeah. But in the end, it's that sense of solidarity that keeps these boys flying tight. Everyone out here has a love of airplanes of some sort. I mean, there's a great group of guys out here that fly with us, and, and uh, just about anywhere you go, you can find people that do fly. Will Von Toggen. Nevada's News Channel 4.